that's what we've been dealing with and um, we was hit with, but uh, the guys have been able to handle it well and uh, got to keep it going. Let's go. My LFG player of the game today, great performance, Rico Dowdle. Man, what a game by you. 100 yards, the first time a Cowboys rusher has a 100-yard game in 26 games. What opened things up for you today? Uh, those guys up front, man, you got to give all the credit to them, you know. Getting it, getting it started, uh, just get a little bit of space, and we was able to make it go. Um, started off strong early and uh, got back, to, ended up getting back to it in that third quarter and paid off well for us. Yeah, how, how have you guys kind of remained staying positive? you dealt with a lot of adversity this year. Dak's been out, CD was out today. How have you guys remained positive through this really tough stretch? Um, like you said, just adversity, man. Uh, it been man down, man up for us, and uh, that's the mentality we've going, been going in with. And, uh, Everybody practices and preps well and uh, just got to stay ready and everybody been ready for when their opportunity came and uh, made the most of their opportunity. So that's what we've been dealing with and um, we was hit with, but uh, the guys have been able to handle it well and uh, got to keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. You got some tough stretch ahead. You got, you got I think, Cincy up next. What's it going to take for you guys here in about 10 days to get a win over those guys? Uh, you know, uh, get this rest, uh, like you said, 10 days. So get this little mini bye weekend, uh, get our bodies back and uh, come out here with the same game plan, you know. Go out there and try and put it together, running it, uh, throwing it, and playing a complete football game, all three phases, special teams, offense, and defense. And, uh, I think if we do that, we'll be able to get the win. Awesome. Hey, I had a first bite of my turducken today. Do you even know what a turducken is? You see Mike and all those guys eating one? Yeah, I seen them over there eating, man. <laughs> yeah. See if you can get a bite. It's pretty good, man. Congratulations to you and your team. Way to go. Really happy for you. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, sir. You too. Appreciate it. Week 13 is in the books, and these are my three stars of the week. First up, Russell Wilson, he had himself a day on Sunday. He was the first Steelers quarterback to throw for 400 yards and three touchdowns since Big Ben. He looked like a point guard out there. He threw completions to 10 different Steelers receivers. That is tough to do. Let's see if he can stay hot against the Browns this week. Next up, Leonard Williams. What a day for the Big Cat against his former team on Sunday. He filled up the stat sheet two sacks, a block extra point, and a pick six. 92 yard pick six. That was the longest by any player who weighs over 300 pounds. Did you guys hear me? I said ever. That was crazy. He's gonna need to have another huge day with the first place in the NFC West on the line against Arizona this week. Last, Bucky Irving. That was the best game of his rookie season last week against Carolina. He went off. He had a career-high 152 rush yards and a tutty in the Bucks overtime thriller. That's the second big game in a row for Bucky. What a great fit he's been for the Bucks offense this season. They're going to need him down the stretch. Those are my three stars of the week. Let's see who makes the list next week. These are my power rankings after week 13. Coming in at number five in my power rankings, it's the Minnesota Vikings. Sam Darnold, he's continued his great year. He led the Vikings to their fifth straight win. This team gets it done in close games. They're seven and one in one score games. The Vikings, they're gonna look to make it six straight against the Falcons at home this week. At number four, the Philadelphia Eagles. Can you believe they're 10 and two? I just don't believe it. What an impressive road win in Baltimore for the Eagles. Saquon, he continues to make his case for the MVP. He rushed for over 100 yards again on Sunday. And that defense, led by Vic Fangio, they were dominant. They shut down Lamar in the Ravens offense. That's almost impossible to do. Billy, you better not overlook Bryce Young and the Young Panthers this week. At number three, it's the Buffalo Bills. Yep, coming off a dominant performance in the snow over the 49ers. Didn't that look fun out there? Josh Allen, he did it all. He threw for a touchdown. He rushed for a touchdown, and he caught one too? Man, great job, Josh. I thought I saw it all. Now I have seen it all. I can't wait to watch the Bills firsthand this week when they take on the Rams in LA on America's Game of the Week on Fox. Coming in at number two this week, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Yep, all they do is find unique ways to win nail biters each and every week. It was great to see Isaiah Pacheco back in the lineup. That dude runs hard. And Spag's defense, they continue to impress me. 
It's really a complete football team. They have a huge matchup against Jim Harbaugh's Chargers in primetime this week. And once again, in the number one spot in my power rankings, it belongs to the Detroit Lions, the hottest team in the NFL. 10 straight wins. That's the best start in franchise history. Dan Campbell's squad, they're getting it done on both sides of the ball. They got a top three scoring offense and a top scoring defense. I can't wait to see their divisional matchup against the Packers on Thursday night. That's going to be a ball game. That wraps up my power rankings after week 13. Let's see who plays well and is on the top in week 14.